In recent weeks, both China and the US have fast-tracked the development of their sixth-generation fighter jets. The B-21 Raider, developed by Northrop Grumman, was described as the world's first sixth-generation bomber. Its maiden flight was in November 2023. The US Air Force intends to procure at least 100 B-21 Raiders. Therefore, the PLA Air Force needed a sixth-generation fighter with better all-directional stealth, a longer range, more advanced avionics, better supersonic crews, and a larger weapon bay to counter the B-21. The objective behind developing China's next-generation fighter jet, unofficially dubbed the J-36, was to alleviate Beijing's weakness against the American B-21 stealth bomber in a conflict within the first island chain. The J-36 could block the airspace to foreign bases in Guam for up to two hours from 1,000 kilometers away and could counter the advantages of the American B-21 stealth bomber, according to a Chinese military magazine. China's sixth-generation aircraft in force air superiority from 1,000 kilometers away can thwart B-21 Raider, in a potential conflict over Taiwan, China's underdevelopment sixth-generation fighter jet, the J-36, could block the airspace to foreign bases in Guam for up to two hours from 1,000 kilometers away and could counter the advantages of the American B-21 stealth bomber. The objective behind developing China's next-generation fighter jet, unofficially dubbed the J-36, was to alleviate Beijing's weakness against the American B-21 stealth bomber in a conflict within the first island chain. When the sixth-generation fighter is in service, the People's Liberation Army can intercept U.S. warplanes trying to penetrate the first island chain, the J-36 could enforce airspace blockades lasting one to two hours and suppress the air defenses of military bases in Guam from a distance. This will make it difficult for the U.S. Navy and Air Force to maintain air superiority over the Western Pacific and to intervene militarily in a series of operations by the Chinese military within the first island chain, the article published in the magazine's March edition said. In a future conflict over Taiwan, the article said that both the Chinese Air Force and the U.S. Air Force would most likely focus on fighting for control of the airspace about 1,000 kilometers from the Chinese coast. U.S. acknowledges its inability to enforce complete air superiority against China. The U.S. also acknowledges the claims made in the Chinese military magazine that in a future conflict over the first island chain, the U.S. will struggle to establish complete air superiority over the Western Pacific and that the J-36 could even attain air superiority over U.S. military bases like Guam for one to two hours. China is outproducing the United States in air, missile, maritime, and space capability and accelerating these. In recent weeks, both China and the U.S. have fast-tracked the development of their sixth-generation fighter jets. Chinese J-36 has been repeatedly spotted flying near its developer base, the Chengdu Aircraft Industry Corporation, suggesting it is progressing rapidly. In March, the U.S. awarded Boeing the contract to develop a sixth-generation fighter jet, the F-47. However, according to the Chinese military magazine Shipborne Weapons, the B-21 alone was a threat to China, and even a massive fleet of the PLA active J-25th generation stealth fighter could not cope with it. The B-21 Raider, developed by Northrop Grumman, was described as the world's first sixth-generation bomber. Its maiden flight was in November 2023. The U.S. Air Force intends to procure at least 100 B-21 Raiders. The B-21 Raider has also increased its flight testing in recent times. In March, Northrop Grumman's Aeronautics Division President, Tom Jones, announced that the B-21 is conducting flight tests at least twice a week at Edwards Air Force Base, California. The B-21 is well capable of traveling over 2,000 kilometers from Guam to perform loitering air superiority missions for several hours in the vicinity of the first island chain, which is between 800 kilometers and 1,000 kilometers away from mainland China, shipborne weapons said. By controlling the airspace between Guam and the first island chain, the B-21 could not only fire standoff missiles at Chinese land and sea targets, but also establish a safe corridor for its navy, logistics, reconnaissance and early warning units, as well as other strategic bombers, such as the B-52H, B-1B and B-1A aircraft. This would exhaust and drain Chinese air defenses, as they would have to intercept endless air-to-ship, air-to-ground, and even hypersonic missiles. Chinese aircraft carrier strike groups would also have to retreat within the cover of their land-based air force, 
making it very difficult to achieve their strategic goal of building air and sea defense and an offshore early warning system, the article said. Therefore, the PLA Air Force needed a sixth-generation fighter with better all-directional stealth, a longer range, more advanced avionics, better supersonic crews, and a larger weapon bay to counter the B-21. The article claims that the J-30CXS unique design meets all these requirements, and it might even become the world's first operational sixth-generation fighter in service around 2030. In a recent U.S. Senate Armed Services Committee hearing, Admiral Samuel Paparo, the head of the U.S. Indo-Pacific Command, said that China is rapidly advancing its air combat capabilities and is in a position to deny the U.S. air superiority in the first island chain, the strategic archipelagos in East Asia comprising Taiwan, Japan, and the Philippines. China's unprecedented aggression and military modernization poses a serious threat to the homeland, our allies, and our partners in the Indo-Pacific, Admiral Paparo warned the Senate committee last month. China is outproducing the United States in air, missile, maritime, and space capability and accelerating these, he said. Underlining the criticality of maintaining air superiority in a potential conflict with China, swiftly establishing air superiority over your adversary is key to winning modern conflicts. One key reason the Ukraine-Russia war has dragged on for more than three years is that Moscow failed to establish air superiority in the early days of the battle. In contrast, the U.S. has enjoyed air superiority in all its recent wars. Be it in Afghanistan or Iraq, or the recent hostilities with the Houthis in Yemen, the U.S. was quickly able to establish unchallenged air superiority, giving it a critical edge in the battle. When asked if China can deny U.S. air superiority in the first island chain, Admiral Paparo replied, I give them high marks in their ability to do that. Analysts have warned that establishing permanent air superiority will be impossible, with both sides employing modern fifth-generation aircraft and rapidly developing sixth-generation fighter jets equipped with advanced sensors and long-range precision-guided missiles. Instead, the objective would be to establish air supremacy for brief periods. Air supremacy is the complete mastery of the air. However, China's rapid progress in air combat capabilities means that the U.S. is no longer confident of establishing air superiority over Beijing in a future conflict in the Indo-Pacific.